Hello, Few Candy here, and yes, the Financial Districts DLC has finally landed. I've been lucky enough to have early access and have found the most challenging element of this DLC is getting a nice, cohesive, realistic feel from the Financial Officer's specialisation. Mass zoning without care can lead to some, let's say, interesting results. So I'm here today to give you my top tips for creating a beautiful, realistic looking financial district. I am using just a small amount of mods, but most of what you see is totally possible in vanilla or on console, but will require a lot of patience. So let's crack on. So I am going to design my financial office district within this big square, as you can see here, a very much a plaza design using pedestrian roads in a pedestrian area, mostly a little bit of vehicular access at the back, which will sit around the main stock exchange so we can get taxis in and the such like for easy transport. We also have this tram route running around the whole thing, which I think adds a nice touch. Now my tip number one is leave a lot of open space in front of your stock exchange. The new plaza that comes with it is an excellent feature to add in front of it. It really helps to give the building a lot of importance. Now tip number two is making sure that you're using the same building themes within your blocks. It is much easier to zone these in square block rows as opposed to on curvy roads. It doesn't work as well, certainly with this district style to be on bendy roads. And you'll see here tip number three is also don't forget to historicalize your buildings or plop them like me if you do have the luxury of find it and rico and what this does is really help to give you some definition to your blocks you would have seen i'm being selective about heights and making sure that the orientation of them is appropriate so that they don't look so random and packed in and a little bit crazy honestly like when you mass zone and you can do that on console just by being incredibly patient and waiting till you get the level building you want and then historicalizing them. And these two by two blocks level two with the glass top to them are super, super nice assets as well. Actually one of my favorite and work really well in a block like that. I'm also just refreshing these buildings with Move It to make sure I've got the same colour. Again, you can do that on console or in vanilla, but it takes an awful lot of patience to make sure you've got the right building colour. It does make it feel more realistic. Now in this back corner, we're using some 4x4 assets here. Now all of the financial office specialisations come in 4x4s, 3x3s, 2x2s and 1x1s. So here I'm using 4x4s combined with some of the 2x2s to create a large block that fits the space available to me. And those 4x4 assets are divine. <laughs> I have to say with the columns, some of my favourites there. And I'm also being really careful to make sure the level 2 versions of those with the glass towers on the top are sitting back to back again so that we've got a nice orientation that makes sense and is realistic. Mixing some level twos with level threes like this to create some nice layers and height is also a good thing to think about. Now over here, this is not possible on vanilla or console because I am using Anarchy in order to merge and fuse some of these buildings together. Filling in these little gaps with some one by ones here to create a large block, but it really gives such a nice effect with these buildings and they fuse together perfectly. And my tip number four is do not be afraid to use one by ones. Anyone who's familiar with my content will know I always steer away from them. But here it works so nicely in a block and then you can just fill it in with a building that fits the size of the centre of your block like this office asset that I've used there. And the one by one financial offices are beautiful assets, I must say. So the key thing really is sticking to those building themes and keeping them in blocks. It looks a lot more cohesive and makes it look like larger buildings altogether as opposed to lots of single 4x4s or 3x3s. And now what we're going to do is integrate some more public transport with some metros and orientation for this is super important. I did not like this original placement because it was blocking the view down that main collector there. The shift in over makes a lot of difference. And I'm touching up a lot of the surfaces with a brush tool, which you can find on the workshop and also linked in the description below. 
super useful little asset if you have the luxury of find it and mods just for filling in those awkward spaces of course if you are on console or vanilla you can use paths to give yourself that fake kind of surface planter look and we're just using some park life plazas here to fill in the extra space and give this a little bit more importance and grandeur to it and if you are interested in picking up any of the City Skylines DLCs along with a whole host of other games for really great prices, please do check out my Instant Gaming link below. They will have financial districts available in the next couple of days, so look out for it there and anything you purchase through my link will go towards helping to support the channel. And also don't be afraid to leave some open green spaces like this one here. And actually, if you've got find it, searching for the nature reserve path rocks is a really handy little trick because they are much smaller than the big vanilla small rocks and make for much better looking inner city rock gardens. And my final tip of the day is make sure you use suitable assets for the surrounding area around your financial office district. Things like modern city centre, a couple of skyscrapers, maybe even some European would blend in really nicely with the assets that are available in the DLC. Now we are just adding the final touches of detail in here using a few props from the plazas and promenades DLC combined with a couple of picnic benches to give some nice open outside communal spaces. Obviously some food trucks as well for all of those bank workers. have it we have our financial office district and i feel like this looks an awful lot better than when you mass zone so don't be tempted to just mass zone even if you're on vanilla because you really don't have to be selective about those buildings it will take time if you've got mods it's much easier but you can get such great much better looking results from really carefully choosing your assets particularly with this dlc and specialization so don't forget those top tips Make sure you leave open space in front of your stock exchange and that will help give it more importance. Use the same theme buildings to create blocks. Historicalize or plop the assets to get the heights that you want. Don't be afraid to use one by ones. And last but not least, make sure that you blend it into the rest of your city with suitable assets surrounding your financial district area. But that is it from me for today so i hope you have enjoyed the video likes comments and shares are as always really super appreciated and help me to grow as a channel but that is all from me for today so thank you so much for tuning in and i'll catch you again next time bye